One, two, three, go. Hello, witch folk. <laughs> Welcome to our coven. We are angels on broomsticks and we're a mother-daughter duo. I'm Evangeline. I'm Kristen. And it is New Year's Rockin' Eve, which means it's day seven of Witchmas. And we've done our seven favorite palettes. We kind of yeah. cheated it up a little bit, I think. I think we brought in a couple more, didn't we? Like oh, we, yeah. Like whatever. Well, it's just our favorite palettes that we discovered this year. Now, this is a continuation on yesterday's episode. We're doing a day tonight look. So we've got, we've got makeup on. Yeah, well, yeah. We slept in it. We slept overnight. Yeah. We showed I up again. Slept standing up so I wouldn't bend my earrings. <laughs> Um, I'm wearing the same clothes, but... Yeah, I mean, I changed because she, she lives here. <laughs> uh, we're having rosé. We opened some rosé. It's got bubbles in it, but I don't know what kind of bubbles they are. Yeah, gen gentle bubbles. Mm -hmm. We're celebrating the end of this terrible year, but this is the year we founded our channel. Yeah, some things about this year weren't terrible. I mean, I quite enjoyed the time at home. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you learned how to bake bread. Yeah, I did the thing. I got better at makeup. So did I. Learned how to film and edit. I did not. No. <laughs> <laughs> so today, we're continuing on what we used yesterday because we really want to show off the full breadth of this palette. Jamie Genevieve's release from November. She launched her own brand, and this is her palette, the Essential Palette. We have some, like, the neutral sort of mustardy shades on now, and I am going to amp it up with the black and the glitter. Me too. Because that's what New Eve makeup is, usually. So that's what we're going to do. And you're going to be here with us. All right, let's uh, go. The only thing about day-to-night looks is how your mascara is I was going to say. <laughs> Your mascara's in the way. I don't like that. Yeah, that's the only thing. But I like building upon, like, I like how warm this is. It is so warm. So, yeah, black. I'm going to use a small brush. Yeah. Yeah, we're Same getting brush. a lot of uh, good use out of our Bristles Beauty. Mm. Mother-daughter duo. Mother-daughter duo in Toronto. Same. Brushes brand. All right. Any New Year's resolution? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, go. It's for makeup, right? For, or just in life? For life or makeup. Okay, we'll talk about makeup first and then I have, you know, I'm planning on moving because yeah. I'm an empty nester. So I, my, my porn is looking at, you know, apartments. Yes. And so it's a little too early because I haven't sold the house yet. So when I do sell the house, I'll know how much I'm working with and get the financial planner guys you guys are all young probably you need to get a financial planner don't be like me don't mm. be a dope mm. um but yeah so I'm gonna get that together and i think i want to live in a loft yeah a hard loft not a soft loft which we just learned what the that difference is. <laughs> one doesn't have an erection real. and the other isn't flaccid <laughs> well one is the hard loft is, you know, based on some factory that has died. And the soft loft is its fake version. Yes. My basically. my apartment is almost a loft. But Yours is a right. hard loft. Yeah. It was convenience stores. And now it and used to be a mission. It looks like if, if you looked, we shouldn't tell them. Should we? Or don't. Are you going to stuck? No, they don't know no, my address. No, it, lo it looks like it is a, um, like a motel. Yes. No. Like a seedy motel. But it's so cool inside. That's my favorite thing. Like if something looks bad from the outside, but it's cool in the inside. Yeah. That's like my dream. Like I don't like a, I don't care about curb appeal. I never have. And yeah, like a house with, you know, a great white picket fence and mm. all the landscape. Nope. You can have cigarette butts and beer bottles on the outside. Mm -hmm. That's fine. But the inside is what counts. Yeah. So your resolution is the new apartment? The yeah, new... just getting my act together financially, yeah. figuratively, emotionally, spiritually. <laughs> um, and then my makeup resolution, and I've already started upon it. I did make my first purchase in December. 
And I'm going to get my little, my ugly palette that I got from Amazon. And I'm going to fill it with singles. Mmm, singles. Because I'm liking just doing, like, just for every day. I like a shimmery, multi-chrome thing, right? Like, you know that. And the, you could get those indie brands and give them some business. And they make the best, best mm -hmm. shimmery shades. So uh -huh. we have the Cleona. I've got the JD Glow. And so I ordered from Terra Moons nice. uh, this morning. Singles are Yeah, so I'm going to get a couple of singles I ordered. And then build up my little collection. And then just have like a neutral eye and then a bl of shimmer. Right? Yeah, that's the way to go. I don't think I have makeup resolutions. Do you have any skincare? I want to get some more Botox. I want to get better at false lashes. Oh, okay, good. Okay, good. <laughs> I don't, do I have resolutions? Oh, always remember you're on a floating rock in the middle of space and it's okay. Just stop stressing about everything. You're on this weird rock. But everyone's so stressed life. this year. It was like, you're yeah. stressed. They, you know, it was a combination of being stressed and bored out of your gourd. So, I mean, we started our channel mm -hmm. and it became like a little job for us. But like, what? I met someone at the dog park today. Is like, I said, are you watching anything good on Netflix? And he goes, I'm bored. I'm so bored. Like, you can only watch Queen's Gambit, Gambit so many times. I am I'm not bored at all. At about, all. Well, I'm a little not bit. Not once. I kind of miss going to shows and venues and music. That's about it. I really... It's my... What do you call it? Uh, introverted nature is just... Jiving. So, yeah, I um, mean, not much different for me. Like, because I'm... An introvert, own body type. Like I find vacation stressful. Like me on vacation is me, passport, wallet, passport, wallet, <laughs> passport, wallet, phone. Oh pass my god! Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I think we've all been there. Passport, wallet. <laughs> so true. Okay, I am just winging this out. I'm bringing this lower than I ever go. I'm winging it out. With Stop. a big brush. Because it's New Year's. Rockin' Eve. And I'm going to be at home. I miss Dick Clark. Hmm? You're going to say who? I did, Yeah, I went, hmm? She doesn't know who Dick Clark is, guys. <sighs> he used to host New Year's Rockin' Eve. I okay. didn't make up that okay. term. And then... then I think Anderson Cooper took over with, oh, that comedian that he ended up unfriending. Kathy Griffin. Okay. Oh, her. So, Andy Griffin. No, Andy Griffin. No, forget it. Start over. Kathy Griffin and Anderson Cooper took over New Year's Rock and Eve. Yes. Okay. And the dropping of the ball in Times Square. And then came the feud. That was like when Trump came to office and she had that thing with his head. I remember that, yeah. And I was like, everyone hated her. Oh, really? Really, people? I have two minds of that. I'm not. What I have seen before on like watching The View occasionally is sometimes left-wing people will do stuff that they don't like right-wing people do, like promoting violence. They'll say, oh yeah, he beat him up, that's great, because he's a shitty right-wing guy. But it's kind of, it's a double standard, and I get it, but I don't know, I think you can do a smarter thing than use violence as a tool to, as your political tool, or your comedic tool. You can be smarter. I don't. <laughs> Not when it comes to Trump, sorry. Okay. Do you think that these these glittery shadows are finger things? Yes. Isn't it always? Yeah. Haven't we learned? It's dark glitter. Smoky, smoky, smoke. Look at this. Let's see. Too much. Are you gonna no? <laughs> are you gonna false lash? I think I'm gonna have to. 
Although all my lashes are falling apart, they're little bits and pieces and okay, I'm just going in for the glitter now. It's not too glittery glittery. No. I think it's day glitter. Day glitter, but we don't believe in the... We don't believe in day or night. We are day vampires. This glitter looks quite nice when you kind of put it over a dark color. It's when it's sort of these little bits that are going onto the black, very pretty. Mm -hmm. So, you know what? So let's just bring that all around. Ooh, yas. Oh, my lashes are all glittery now. <laughs> Good. Oh, I have a tomorrow night, well, the 30th, a coven meeting online with my witch lady. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's not my YouTube coven, it's my online, online coven that you're not a part of. You have a coven and you didn't tell me? I guess I didn't. It's like you meet online on a Zoom call and do... Are you kidding? No. I'm excited for that. To Why didn't you tell me this? Last coven meeting was on my birthday. It's every full moon. Who is this coven person? My lady, my witch lady, Pam Grossman. Oh. Yeah. Are you kidding? Are you the only one? No, there's like hundred, a couple hundred people maybe. Are you kidding? But maybe 30, 40 people tune into the coven meetings every month. I don't know the numbers, but... Yeah, what she's we did, in a coven that uh, I didn't even know about. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna put my lashes on and we'll be back. Bye. Okay, uh, <gasps> lashes are on. We need more highlighter. Yes, I'm gonna try my finger with it. Oh, there you go. It's the Vive highlighter again in Bijou. Yeah, finger builds it up. Yes. I'm thinking of doing red on my lips, but I'm not sure if that's a bad idea. What are you doing? The glitter? The glitter? I'm gonna put on like endless cacao, and then I'm gonna put on a little glitter. I wanna see how the red goes. I'm just gonna do it. No worries. It doesn't smell good. It doesn't smell like anything. What is it? Is it? This is Red Rules the World by Revlon. Oh. Which is, I think, the recreated shade of my favorite ever red lipstick that they discontinue. Uh, I don't like it. Today. I'm going to take it off. <laughs> what a bad idea. Oh, well. Ooh. I'm going to go in instead with 90s. 90s from... Oh, the... Ikey. Look. Look at my... Oh! Nice. I like that. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow, wow. Can't wait to get lip injectables. <laughs> That's all you can think about? No, I can think about other things, but... So I'm waiting for it to dry. Hmm, interesting. Now I can't drink. All right. Done? Done. Dry? Mm -hmm. Good? Not Finished? Really so, so these are the finished looks. This is it, tonight. baby. This is the last day of 2020. <gasps> what a year. What a year. It's over. Woo. Uh, what are you guys doing? Um, I'm going to be at home, I think, eating some cheese fondue. Ooh. That's my plan for now. I'm going to be eating a lobster. Really? Yeah. I'm <gasps> going to do lobster again. Tails? No, um, the spaghetti. Oh, nice. That's our Christmas Eve meal. Yeah, what are, do you it doing? what are you doing? What are you doing? I hope you're doing makeup. <laughs> yeah, don't go bare face. No, no, no. Wear sweatpants and wear makeup at the same time. Yes. Right? Yes. And have a New Year's rockin' Eve. Yeah, we'll see you next year, 2021. We'll be back with some Midnight Margarita sessions. Yeah, we've yeah. got a good one coming up, I yeah. think. So let us know if you want to see anything from us because we will we will do that. <laughs> All right, happy new year, happy witches. Happy New Year, witches. Bye, Bye witches.